me, it's me, Gil, Sam Possible. I'm me, guys. My name is Taffrey 16. Welcome back to another episode of Reading Your Comments, episode 132. It is Thursday, or maybe Wednesday. If you're watching day early on Patreon, shout out to all the Patreons get an option to watch these videos a day early, and your name in the description as well. But, regardless of the day you're watching this on, let's go ahead and read some comments. There's still plenty of high-level cringe for you to watch in Peep Show. Uh, no spoilers for a certain episode in Series 4, which man does take cringe to a whole new level. You know, it's interesting with Peep Show. Like, I like the show. I, I don't... I, I, I know some people might think I don't like the show because I haven't done it that often. I honestly like the show. Just for whatever reason, it's never stuck on the channel. You know? I don't know why. I, I don't know why. Maybe I need to just make a commitment to it or something. I don't know, but... It's never really stuck, but maybe it will at some point here. Afterlife on Mars, the spinoff series Ashes to Ashes. Yeah, I got that plan for 2022. I don't usually plan stuff that far in ahead, but I've got that plan for 22. The Glitter Tune was the most shocking thing about Joker. Yeah, I liked the movie. It was a great movie. It's actually, to this date, the last movie I've seen in the theaters. Um, but when I heard that song in that movie, I was like, wow, okay. Um, you know, that guy's a pedophile right I and mean, like I, I they still play it at sports games around here sometimes too like motherfucker still makes money off that and I'm, I, I'll hear it randomly at like a baseball game sometimes I'll be like you guys know whose song that is right and maybe they don't know but like you should probably know <laughs> Has anyone ever suggested you react to Top Gear or to Grand Tour specials? Honestly, some of the greatest TV to come out of the UK and very reaction friendly considering they're all standalone specials. And you don't need to watch the whole series to get to what's going on. The Vietnam special would I read across the entire length of Vietnam on budget motorcycles. Probably my favorite episode of anything ever. Well, I actually have, as far as my requests, let's go, uh, two of Top Gear specials on there. I have the, what, what are the two? Uh, the Africa special and the US special. So those will both come at some point. Don't know what actually happened in terms of Daniel Kitson versus Peter K, but one thing I'll say about Kitson is that he's a comedian's comedian. Uh, to a certain generation of comedians on the UK comedy circuit, if you ask them who's the best, uh, one of the best stand-ups in the country, they'd say him. Jimmy Carr is always a huge fan of his. He doesn't do television appearances, not because he's not asked, but because he genuinely uh, doesn't want to do them and doesn't enjoy them and survives solely on giggling the country. He's not a mainstream name, but he's massively known in comedy circles. Well, Good for him, honestly. Maybe I should do one of his stand-up specials then. I don't get it. Why do big YouTubers who have millions of subscribers beg for more subscribers or likes? Constantly asking people to like, comment, subscribe at the start and of every video they make is annoying. Uh, in my opinion, you have to earn subscribers and likes because of me. Uh, I like to watch a few other videos first, see if I like, uh, uh, comment the following. You just earn yourself a subscriber, me, and I subscribe to their channel. I don't know. I don't do it because they tell me to. Well, I mean, to be fair, you know, all these big YouTubers, million subscribers, beg for more because it's how they make money. You know, it's their sole income. So they'd probably like to keep that. And not to mention, most YouTubers are probably uh, angling towards kids. Most of my audience is, I don't really have a kid's audience. Most of my audience, based off my analytics, are in between, like, are usually mid, in between, like, like 24 to 32 around there um but i don't really have a kid audience which is not common on youtube because most people who use youtube are kids you know and that's what most big youtubers angle towards because that's who they make their content for so and kids are easily influenced you know so if you tell them hey like comment subscribe you know it may be annoying to you and it's annoying to me but the kids are very easily influenced by that. I didn't know it was the theme tune of The Price is Right. Well, now you know. A lot of the basis for the portrayal of the police and life on Mars is based off the 1970s police program, The Sweeney. That's well worth a watch. You know, I, I get told about The Sweeney a lot. I remember when I did The Bill, like two years ago. Some of you might not even know I did a reaction to The Bill. It was a very long time ago. I had a lot of people tell me about The Sweeney. So, yeah, that might be a thing to do at some point. The day after the first time I watched this Life on Mars episode, I was walking down the street and heard what a wonderful world playing from an upstairs window. Kind of freaked me out and made me wonder if the world around me was real for a minute. I love that song. Like, Louis Armstrong, there's, there was nobody like him. Like, he's got just one of the most unique voices ever. Like, if, if you can sing that, you can't sing that song without imitating the voice. Like, you can't do it. There's something wrong with you. 
you try to sing that song without doing Louis Armstrong voice. The story in Still Game of Winston's Money continues in the first episode of Series 5, Drama, but recommend watching uh, Series 3, Episode 6, Aff, before that, which is about Winston's leg that plays a part in uh, the uh, drama episode as well. Okay, I will keep that in mind going forward. There is a story there. That's actually very good to know. I will try to remember this. The pronunciation was spot on. Well, that's good. I, I always, I do my best to pronounce things correctly. There's going to be times where it's just not going to happen, but I always try my best. Scotland versus England today on the BBC. Hope the boys do well. Cheers for the hospitality, London. Hope the game goes well. Well, you know what? London, or, or not London, Scotland obviously was eliminated from Euros uh, on, Tuesday, on Tuesday, but Honestly, I see that as an absolute win. They drew versus England, and even though they got their ass kicked versus Croatia, they scored. So, and considering really nothing was expected from them, I see all that as an absolute win. What in the holy hell is that Abbey Road shirt? Great reaction show. That shirt, I can't show it. It's in the wash. It's not in my room at the moment, but um, it, basically, if you go watch the Still Game episode, I was wearing a shirt where it's the Beatles. Uh, and basically what the shirt was is it's professional wrestler Edge spearing the first beat. I think it's supposed to be Lennon. Was he first in the Abbey Road poster? Um, so we'll go with Lennon. Spearing Lennon. Um, it's probably my favorite wrestling shirt. My sister got it for me a couple Christmases ago. And it was just, it cracked me up when I first saw it. He's a pervert, but aren't we all? Noah 2021. I mean, it's true. Where's the lie? Deep down, we're all kind of perverts. Unless you're asexual, I guess. You can tell the channel has moved up a level. You're employing stunt spiders for the outro now. Bro, that was crazy. Like, I'm sort of paranoid now, I'm not gonna lie. If you don't know what the hell that means, go watch the end of the IT Crowd episode. Go watch the outro. Uh, as I was doing the outro, legit, a little spider came down on a string from the ceiling. This came down right in front of me. Like, and you can see it on the footage, too. It showed up on the footage. That was fucking wild. I didn't know, like, I don't even know. I guess the motherfucker was just chilling on my ceiling and said, you know what? Time to interrupt the outro. I think this IT Crowd episode is regarded as one of the weaker ones, but I pretty much enjoy them all. Yeah, I think it was just a weird note to end the series on, you know? Like, I, you usually, you know, when you're ending a series, you like to bring the thunder. And I, I don't know, just like the sad note of it not working out for Roy and just, I don't know, just they, they, they could have gone with a stronger one to end the series off, I guess. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for another episode of Reading Your Comments. The comments in this video were pulled from four videos, American Reacts to Reading Your Comments. Uh, wait, no, American Reacts to Reading Your Comments, that's not a thing. Reading Your Comments 131, which was last week's episode. Uh, American Reacts to DIT, Crowd 18, American Reacts to Life on Mars 6, and American Reacts to Still Game, was it 14? Or was it 13? I think it was 13. Uh, so if you want a chance to get your comment read next week, there are four videos to comment on. This one, American Rex and British Commercials 15, which came out yesterday, whatever the reaction video is on Friday, and whatever the reaction video is next Monday. Those four videos are the places to comment if you want a chance to get your comment read in next week's episode of Reading Your Comments. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, where I stream every single day, my second channel for extended views, my Twitter. If you want to follow me on my Patreon, if you want to support me on my Daily Motion and my Dexy Non Band Off the L or my Daily Motion, uh, all those things are in the description down below. Thank you to all 80 of my patrons currently named in the description for supporting me on my channel. For those of you who don't know, you can be a patron on me for as low as $1 or one pound to get access to reaction videos as well as reading your comments a day early and you get your name in the description as well. Also, in the description is linked to the community Reddit, as well as the daily schedule, as well as the Twitch VODs channel. With all that being said, though, my name is Noah Taft. This has been episode 132 of Reading Your Comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.